easier. Yeah, flip them all on, flip the one switch, they're all on. If you don't need them, flip the one switch, they're all off. Just like that. That's, that's a good feature there. Yeah. You got any questions in there? No. All righty. Not right. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, they got it. So, here's your house patterns. Yeah. Now, going back to that manual disconnect like we had on the chassis, yeah. we got the same one yeah. for the house. Okay. Right here. I mean, it's park it for a while while you yeah. turn that If you off. guys are going to put this in storage not use it for an extended period of time, yeah. flip both of these. It's going to disconnect all your batteries from the coach so they're not dead when you go to use it again. Okay. Um, a lot of fuses and breakers in here. It's not a storage compartment. Really, these are not things you should be messing with. This is kind of going back to the, if you have a problem, Give us a call, we'll try to talk you through it. If we can't get through it, you're gonna have to set something up. The bad part about it is you get to the, you get to the campground and if you don't know where the fuses is at, uh, like uh, Georgetown, we went to the campground and we couldn't get the jacks to go down. I yeah, had you were, buy, you were yeah, telling me about that. I had all kinds of guys try to help me. And we called, uh, you got one guy who had an iPhone and he called yep. and everything we done that uh, Forest River suggested we do to get the things to work, it didn't work. Yeah. And it come I brought it over here and the guy came out here, pulled the fuse off, and I didn't even know where it was at. Yeah. And I'll show you where those are at. I'll show you where all your fuses are. In there okay. that's gonna be the larger main circuit breakers. Um, those should never trip unless going back to like that surge guard if you were plugged in and you had something, you know, lightning struck or you had a uh, it's like a brownout or an over over voltage. It could, if you didn't have one of those surge guards put in, I've seen this happen, it could go into your 12-volt system and start blowing a lot of stuff. But in normal usage, this should never blow. Those are just protections built in if something weird was never happened. Yeah, that surge guard you just talked about, they put it out there, but what are you doing? Yeah, uh, like the surge guards we have, yeah. Yeah. the surge one guards one. we have here, they're going to plug into your post first, okay. you know where your outlet is. Just killed the Jenny. Itself, I just, yeah, <laughs> the generator. 